Here we go. One, two. Yeah, that's it. Move it back. Move it back. That's it. That's it. Two. One. There it is. Good. Good. Up it. Up, up, up it. Squeeze. 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 To me, a true believer is a person that you know, believes in anything they put their mind into. Um, I feel like they have to have the most confidence in themselves and you'll be successful from there. The great players' work ethic is 10 times more than just the good players. Those great players always get back to that grind and just keep wanting to get better. Ready? Go ahead. Five of them. One. Straight back up. Good. Hey, don't let that left leg hit that ground. Keep that chest hot. I think initially I wanted to name him after his dad. And he was like, well, I'm junior, so he didn't want to be the third. So we were like, well, let's pick a name that's different, um, that's unique. And we both like basketball. So we were like, well, Penny at the time, Penny Hardaway was in Orlando. He was from Tennessee, where Charles is from. And so we were like, okay, let's name Anthony, that's different. He's always played it, but I noticed that he started to take it more serious, I guess I should say. In middle school, like I remember he was probably in like the seventh or eighth grade and we had a goal outside our house and he had been trying to dunk like all summer. And then he finally got it. He like ran in the house. Oh my God, can you just come outside? I just dunked. Made me record him so he can look at it over and over again. I ended up going to the MPBA Top 100 camp in the summer of 2017. One of the days at the camp, somebody just came up to me and was like, hey, you got bumped up to like number six in the country. And I was completely shocked. The idea of bypassing college and going to the NBA draft was brought up to me by a writer doing an interview with me. And he was like, you know, you're able to bypass college and go to the NBA draft because you did post-grad. And I didn't know that at the time. And I was just like, whoa, OK. We actually, I think, found out on Twitter. Yeah, like. Because like stuff happens so fast now in real time, you don't really get a chance to call and tell your parents after you had a discussion. They put the article out. And it's kind of like, we're like, wait, what? Like, we were just talking about what school we could go to. I just felt like college was going to be there. If this is what you truly want to do, then let's go and do it. And so he said, this is what I want to do, Dad. I said, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm with you. I'm really impressed with Anthony, considering that he's 19 years old. He's got a great presence about him. He's got great confidence. He's very mature. He's got what it takes to be successful off the court. I know what he has on the court. Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to work with some of the top players in the NBA. Anthony has a lot of those guys' characteristics. He's not a conscious shooter. He will shoot at any point in time, any different type of way. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Klay Thompson. I mean, he has the attributes of a lot of great scores that I've worked with. You got what it takes. All you got to do is continue to do this work, continue to dream. You ready for this next step? Anthony's a unique athlete. He's 18 years old. Uh, he's, he's starting to learn his body. And uh, I like to bring in different people to help him understand his body, learning how to use his feet, his arms, his hands, using you know, his God-given abilities. So, you know, cross-training is, is important. I've heard a little bit of people saying stuff that he's, I'm not ready and stuff like that, but I don't really worry about that too much. I'm just worried about me and my development as a player. The mindset I keep all the time is just wanting to be the best. I feel like that just pushes me even more. Even though I don't want to do it, my body tells me, oh, you, you might not be able to do it today. But me, my drive and wanting to be the best is it just pushing me forward. He's always been the type of person that's focused on himself and his development. He has not really allowed things outside of himself to get in the way, whether it be the rankings or how someone else is doing. Um, we've always taught him that, you know, it's important for you to be the best version of yourself because when you start chasing individuals, when you catch them, what do you do? You got to find somebody else to chase. So as he grows, he has to learn that you're always going to have doubters. If you channel all your energy to the doubters, you're going to lose focus of who you are and what you're trying to do because they're going to try to dictate what you do and how you do and you just have to be yourself. And some people are going to love you, some people aren't. I'm ready for this moment and I'm ready to you know, take that jump and be that player. I'm really willing to go in and work hard and be a good teammate.